Only, now we think about the business growing its cash flows at a 20% CAGR for five years before totally flatlining at $20.4 billion in year five onward. This gives Google credit for all that near-term growth that we've already explained is totally possible, where in the Gordon growth model above, we couldn't do this. So we want to focus on three key points here. First, the sustainable WAC for Google long-term, which in this case we're using 7.25%, which equates to about a 13.8 times PE multiple. Second, what K will cash flows grow at in the near term? And third, how long will this growth period last before flattening? With respect to the long-term WAC, we've chosen 7.25%, which equates to a 13.8 times PE for Google. This is the same long-term average that Microsoft enjoys. Microsoft's revenues have grown at roughly 5% over the last three years, and certainly represent one of the slower growing mature tech stocks of the day. HP, another mature and now slowing tech stock, though one with lower margins given it is primarily in the hardware industry, but so too is Google now with the Motorola acquisition, has enjoyed a 13.1 times PE over the past five years. So at 7.25% WAC, this makes a lot of sense if Google were to slow, and in our model we're conservatively saying they cease growing entirely after year five. Next, we've chosen a 20% CAGR for Google's cash flow. We're sticking to the 15% growth in year one for simplicity of using the same results, and again it is conservative, but then 20% growth for years two through five. And finally, we've chosen a five-year cap or competitive advantage period where Google is able to grow at these rates via returns on invested capital much higher than their cost of capital or WAC during this period. This is due to its current sustainable competitive advantages and its competitive positioning in future growth verticals. Now, we discussed cap a bit in the lectures, but average cap of the S&P 500 company is 12 to 15 years. Technology companies, however, do possess shorter caps historically due to the perceived competitive forces that exist in highly innovative industries. So this is one of the reasons we spend so much time earlier discussing why Google is so unique and have dominated in a highly innovative industry for so long, because it deserves to have a cap at least equal to the average technology cap of roughly seven years. However, once again, we're going to take the conservative route and say it lasts just five years before total maturity and stagnation of growth.